know, I'm a therapist, and I and my therapy come from the nature, from the from the plants. But uh, uh, my last uh, maybe 15 years or a little more, I d I devoted my research to the flowers, and they are so incredible what they can, how they can help people, you know. So I study this a lot, and, uh, and this is what I offer to many people that come to me, that they can uh, receive that energy from the plants, from the flowers, you know. I have a very special experience that I, for me, the, the depths of life, you know, like the cycles of our life, they are very, they always, I took them very naturally, you know. So I had my time. What happened in the very long past that broke this harmony that Creator planted, it was this imbalance that happened. It was all about one wanting to be more than the other wanting to have more than the other, to be better, to have more. So it's very ancient. My sexual life, I had all those times, and I know some people, they are my age, and they still, and they still want something from that, you know? And for me, I just took this in another way, you know? Once I, I had children and grandchildren, then my life, my life went into another direction, you know. I need to express this in another level, you know. So that's my reality. I really don't live that loneliness, you know. But I know this is very, this is uh, very sad for many people because uh, I have friends that they still, they are like, 65 and they still they still want to find their their like their perfect partner to still live something that they didn't 
accomplish, you know. So maybe I feel that way because I, I had this accomplishment, you know. And I value, you know, to become a grandmother, you know, because other people, they stay kind of hanging on something that is all red. This time is very ancient. We are not to blame someone else for the sorrows we carry, because all of us, we have been so many different ones. We have been in so many different places, tribes, cultures. We have been the one that kill and the one that is murdered. We have been all that. Now it's, now it's the end. Now we need to agree. We need to forgive ourselves first of all and forgive each other and, uh, and get rid of this because this is very old and this is not what we can lead to our children, to our grandchildren. Brilha, brilha as ondas no mar. Brilha, brilha as ondas no mar. E nas ondas eu vejo nossa mãe é manja, rainha do céu. We have this big a very big tree in the forest that is the um, it's called the, the people call this the Brazilian nut everybody eats this huh? it's good this this tree it is it keep it takes nine months for her to make her food ready like us the women and then when the, her fruit is ready, before she throws it down, she blossoms. So she's all her life dealing with pregnancy and nourishment, gestation, you know. And her fruit nourishes all kinds of animals and humans and birds and wild animals like to eat this so she's a she's a pattern and she's an archetype you know so i use that flower to help people take that essence and uh, in that message that she gave to me i understand she she's able to to nourish within us even the seeds that did, the good seeds that did not sprout. So you know. And uh, when we 
first gathered and uh, it was like we di we didn't know we didn't imagine and it was we di we did not have any plan it happened that way because it was meant to be as we are living the time of the accomplishment of prophecies and uh, we we had that information but we didn't know exactly what did what does how it is exactly we didn't know what was it and uh, as we really decided to surrender because it was just about surrendering because we didn't have any plan we just surrendered to that call and we met and we did we had never seen each other and we came from the four directions and uh, and uh, we we were talking about everything that concerns us in the world destruction of nature persecution oppression of the traditions and the medicines the sacred medicines the sacred lands those things and uh, we discovered that although we speak uh, nine different languages We, we had only one voice, and so that's what really moved us forward to continue in that uh, road. And uh, what we are doing is for peace. But we did not imagine what would happen to us. And uh, because when we stand like that for world peace, in this world where there is so much war and so much lies and so many people they speak and they and they are not saying what is in their hearts or they are not aware about what they are doing and they are governors and they are important people and uh, so when we, uh, we humble grandmothers, simple people, when we took that decision and uh, we are doing that, then you don't imagine what comes to our table, the subjects and the challenges that we have to face to Go ahead in that mission. So it's all about what doesn't want the peace to be, to prevail. So we are dealing all, with all those things, those, those feelings, those, those things. We come to a place and many things are happening. Humanity is uh, full of deep wounds and everybody is, feels more comfortable to, to think that Someone else is responsible for the wounds they carry. Uh, and so that's a, that's a will that never finish the, to, to roll that way. If nobody takes responsibility, then it will continue like that forever. So that's what we are doing we are grandmothers and 
some of us great grandmothers and uh, in grandma agnes she has uh, five generations ahead so she's our elder our the eldest of us for us what we what we are doing is taking responsibility healing our own wounds because we carry among us we all always we have to to heal our wounds it's not like very easy like that no we have to cry we have to consolate each other and uh, we have to understand the other and respect our difference because we come from the four directions so it's not uh, done we are weaving that peace within us we really need to be what we are saying that we are we really need to to stop that will that karma because that's the time for stopping that because uh, that's the time for the accomplishment of the prophecies and the prophecies we say in the plural prophecies but they are only one that's what we are discovering walking across the planet like now we just came from japan and, uh, and, and what we meet over there on the other side of the world or when we are coming from the south and meeting people from the north that's the same prophecy and it's about uh, peace it's all about peace I feel when we are aging we need to express ourselves through art through you know because when we express ourselves something very old even when we when we begin maybe some uh, sad things will come out but when we continue to express ourselves something may blossom from us you know that are it's all the good we have done all the the beauty that we have been able to participate or to become you know so i need we need to take care of us that way you know fine go and search something that will help us to